Thanks for checking into Weatherbug here on this Thursday. Tom Nelson with a look at your national coast to coast forecast. I wanted to show you this image. This is of the sun and a coronal mass ejection which occurred on Tuesday. And what that means for northern latitude dwellers is that you could see aurora borealis or northern lights coming up possibly uh, tonight or within the next couple of uh, nights. So keep a lookout for that if skies are clear. And of course, the tropics staying very quiet, at least in the Atlantic. This was the view from Hawaii. Now, the National Hurricane Center is taking a look at this cluster of thunderstorms as the potential of our next named storm in the Pacific. A pretty high chance at that. Now, the Atlantic is very quiet from the uh, western tip of Africa all the way into the Caribbean. And the National Hurricane Center is saying that it may stay dry or quiet over the next five days or so. Uh, so we'll be on the lookout for that. But temperatures yesterday across the central and southern plains quite mild once again. And also ahead of this cool front, we were into the 80s and 90s post front dropping down into the 60s and 70s. But yesterday we were quite a bit above average in those areas. That brief cool down will be taking place in the Great Lakes and the Northeast through the end of the week and this upcoming weekend. But another big ridge of high pressure, a surge of warmth will be heading out into the central part of the country through next week. So last week of uh, August looking quite warm for many of us. Fire weather concerns continue out in the west. A number of very large fires in the west as well. And we do have an upper level low helping to invigorate some thunderstorm activity in some spots through the Intermountain West and the lower Mississippi Valley. I should say the Intermountain West. But again, their storm report map from yesterday showing a number of wind and hail reports. And we're going to be tracking that front as it drops off to the south to so several days in the southeast with some heavy rain potential could be leading to one to two inches of rain or more.